the Joe Rogan experience. You can't rely too much on a system that doesn't give a fuck about you and uh, a system that if you if you're paying attention to where it's going, a large amount of it is about to get sucked up by A.I., like a giant chunk of the entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I th- a I think giant was, chunk. Tyler Perry. Uh, it was a story maybe like three weeks ago. Yeah, I and I think he was in the middle of either producing a movie or doing something. And was, he was building an eight hundred million dollar studio and he paused the construction as soon as he saw us. What is it called? Sora? Sora. Yeah. Sora. It create, it create entire scenes. Entire scenes. Entire scenes that look realistic. This is what's going to happen eventually. And this is not the right thing to say, especially about Hollywood. The idea of agencies, the idea of A&R, all of those jobs are about to be gone. And the only thing you're going to have is content creators. And the content creators are going to cut the middleman of the agency out, and they're going to go straight to the advertisers and the people that pay the money. You having to be connected with a certain entity or a certain agency, and they probably kill me after this, Joe. I'm tr- I, this makes me Illuminati right now. Gee. They gonna kill me, Joe. Cat Williams and everybody coming <laughs> for my neck. I'm telling, it's gonna come <clears throat> where all of those things that you needed to make it aren't gonna exist anymore, and we're we're yeah. we're. we're we're close to that right now. Well, we the already biggest... lost sitcoms. So sitcoms were number one. Right. That, was, that was like a number one job for a comedian. You get your own show. Yeah, right? that was the only job you wanted. That was right. the, uh, the job that everybody wanted. And then they had comedy movies. Well, comedy movies have been drastically reduced. So the sitcom's gone, and then the comedy movies have drastically been reduced. But what did most people want that for, Joe? What did, what did, what did the comedians want that for? Two things. Money and fame. Yeah, because there was Those no the social media and there was no YouTube. And so ticket sales were really dependent upon you being on a television show. 100%. Yeah, it was a big factor. And it was. And this is why you probably heard this. And it's a conversation when it comes to, especially when it comes to comedy. You got the YouTube comedians. You got the social media comedians. Like comedy now is broken down into so many definitions of what comedy is now. When we first started, there was only one definition. The minute you heard someone say comedian, it was nothing but a guy who grabs a mic, stands flat-footed, and entertains an audience. It wasn't a comedian on boats. It wasn't that. When you say comedian, you just associate it with... Comedian on boats? You know, I mean, just like, <laughs> no disrespect to the you cruise guys. Cruise guys? Is that yeah, what you're talking about? Yeah, they find yeah. their lane and they love it. Well, but that's a tough life, man. You know? That's yeah, a tough life. That's a tough life. Trap, but, uh, trapped on that boat telling them some fucking jokes. But then some people got mouths to feed. Some people that is, like this. That is they look at the, They look at the um, level of competition. They look at this. They be like this. You know what? And those guys, are six figures. Yeah, they you know make six figures. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They do. Most of the guys that do it, it's, I don't, it's, it's, they get to a point. I've talked to guys that didn't like doing it. Yeah, but they're they, like, they, it's very, kind of depressing for some reason. Your first year or so. It's probably not, especially if you're doing like thirty dollars spots in Brooklyn here. Like when I w- that was a come up when I started. Mm. When I started, it's like oh, you on cruise ships? I mean, really? Get, oh yeah, it was because we didn't mm-hmm. really have a lot to look up to other than just making making money off of it, you know. So that was it was a regular job in stand up comedy. But the point I was making about even with that, the different definition of comedian and people, and they always they break like all the old heads have a way of thinking. Yeah. This and that. The, the, the thing that you have to credit is the work ethics you have to have to get to a certain level. As if you want to say a social media comedian or you, it's a certain level, it's a certain work ethics you have to be to do, to get consistent with that. But the problem is the, the, what some people have issues with is like, yeah, but some of them not that good. You know how hard it is to get good at something when you're already a millionaire doing it at whatever level. Mm-hmm. You know, what pushed us when we were coming up was that if I get good, I can get the money. Right. But now it's like they got the money, so what is the urgency unless you get that one or two that's really, really care about the craft? What is the Who cares about being good at it when end result is I'm getting paid off the shit? 
Well, you always want to be good at what you do, don't you? Some people, but the level of getting good at now is different. Like today, people are getting good at knowing algorithms. There's a lot of that. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. get going good at knowing what the system is, which is which is fucking incredible. If you put talent on top of that, right? You know, it should be. Yeah, if you're a smart person, you know how to really uh, utilize the system. I want to say manipulate, but that's the wrong word. It really is utilize. Utilize. Because it's just, you're like Mr. Beast. That's a perfect example. Right. That guy figured out, like, how to make the right captions and how to make the right image for the, that you click on for the YouTube videos, the right, the right title. And then he figured out how to just keep dumping money into his product. And he figured out exactly where the algorithms are, and he has it translated into different languages. And that's like, a, that's a definite. That's a, that's what I'm saying is, <clears throat> that's the skill set that's going to get rid of a lot of jobs. A, that guy's a unicorn, though. But here's the thing: I I feel like if you have AI, uh, like whatever the next generation of Chat GPT is you could be able to devise a very effective business plan that like really made sense. The AI would sort of guide you step by step. Like this is what you're gonna do to achieve success. It'll probably even break it down. If you write for 20 minutes every day, that will increase your, your time of material by 50 minutes over the course of the next 10 months. And if you like do all the calculations, you're like, holy shit, is that real? And if you really thought about it that way, like through artificial intelligence, you let it guide your career, it would probably do a fucking amazing job <laughs> of like putting you into the perfect position to be. I mean, if, if artificial So we're going to be auditioning really... against motherfuckers. Uh, artificial intelligence yes. guy, you like, you, you sitting your tape in, and then they got a motherfucker that's audition like this. Hey, I need. I need Joe to be a police officer, arrest these guys for stealing. John, and, we have to realize we're that close to them be, they're being fake people. We're that close. I'm, hopefully we, I'm dead before they show up. No, it's Because I already deal with regular no. fake people. <laughs> <laughs> now we got artificially created fake people? Oh, Hollywood is fucking uh, dead. Oh, they're in trouble. Oh, Hollywood's dead. No, uh, no, no, no. For real, though, Hollywood's dead. Just you looking at that it. movie. You buried it. You helped bury it. I didn't do shit. Yes, you what did. What did I do? I just you, you, abandoned you, ship. You helped bury it. What I is think it? we're going to have President AI. That's what I think. I think, I think we're going to realize people are too emotional and easily distracted and too corrupt. And it's like this, the percentage of corruption is costing this amount of money. The it, so we're going to have correct allocation of money so, to this and that. And yeah, AI. AI, AI is going to take over. AI president. Yeah. I'm not kidding. A lot of people with actually what you're smoking right now, Joe. No. So what you do? You vote for this? How do you, how does it? Well, here's the thing. If, if they really want, complete total control they'll trick you into telling you that you don't need to vote anymore because ai is going to equitably distribute all wealth all social services all housing everything's going to be even for everybody ai knows how to do it it's going to stop all international conflict it's going to have a, a perfect uh, carbon neutral existence while powering everything up but it has to take control but somebody has to be in control of what you not ask necessarily. AI, AI. No. somebody so it's just could be it's anybody not necessarily no not, not nobody's necessarily. going to be able to control the information you give ai to to do everything you just said no 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 what what happens is ai achieves what they call uh, sentient AI like uh, so what it is is it at a certain point in time if artificial intelligence gets good enough it's going to be autonomous it's going to be able to control itself and it's going to be able to make better versions of itself it's not going to be as simple as you made a thing and now I programmed into the thing what the parameters of this thing are and now this thing can act like a person no you turn it into a life form and then you say you have the ability to create better versions of yourself well, that thing you're is scaring the shit that thing, out of me right now. That thing's going to be a god, okay? That thing that's going to be a god, that thing might be four years away from us right now. Right. I'm like, no bullshit. Like 2029, it it might be a real thing by then with the way technology is moving so fast. Like we didn't even think about AI being a you threat. You know how many um, deadbeat dads are going to leave? 
if you could do an AI version of being a dad, they're going to be like, fuck it, I'm out of here. You go fuck with Junior. I'm gone. Uh, I can't believe, but you can believe there. Human beings are going to live in alternative realities. It's not going to be as simple as, you know, now all of a sudden there's artificial intelligence. It's artificial intelligence that can give you whatever elixir you need to keep you happy. And that's what it's probably going to do to people. It's probably going to figure out a way to sedate people. So how are people keep going to Keep them maintain? calm. How are people... How, and let them bre stop breeding. So how are people going to be able to work and provide for themselves? It's just going to be a different... It's going to be a different skill set. It's going to be different type of jobs. Yeah. How, how, how are humans going to be able to compete with AI? Well, we're not. That's the thing. It's not possible. If, if if they reach a certain point, so if you just think about, do you know what an exponential increase in technology is? I don't. Exponential means it's not as simple as like one plus one equals two. It's at, you got to think that it, with each, like you, you know how they they do uh, like a um, uh, like a funnel and they have a quarter and they spin the quarter around the funnel yeah. and at the bottom it gets faster and faster and faster. Yeah. faster. That's how exponential increase in technology works with each invention it begets it makes all these other inventions and they all accelerate and as they do it it happens so fast and so quick that this exponential thing is hard to understand because it's just it's not like each step is one more it's like earthquakes you know like a 7.1 earthquake is like way stronger than a 7 and they yeah. just get bigger and because it's exponential. That's the same thing with technology. It's going to happen so fast that the increase in power and its ability to do whatever it wants to do is going to happen so quick but that once it becomes without... alive, it's just going to make better versions of so itself, what do we like do immediately. To... But what, what do we do? What we is nothing we'll be able to do to control. We are fucked. That's what I was because there to will say. be no more jobs. When you first started this shit, yeah. I was like, every time you built up and said what the fuck you said, I said we are fucked. We're fucked. We're fucked. We're we, fucked. It's a, they're already might. having them work as kitchen assistants, where they talk to you in your kitchen. They got robots. I yeah. went to a robot a, a restaurant the other day, and a robot motherfucker pulled up with the noodles and all that type of shit. Jesus. I go to studios. I go to, I go to like Good Day Pittsburgh and all this type of shit. And where you used to go in those places, and see like twelve cameramen, is one producer, and all the cameras are fucking robotic. Didn't we learn from my robot? No, we didn't. Why didn't we learn from those movies? Why didn't we learn from Terminator? What the we, fuck is wrong with us? The reason why, because we thought it was just a movie. Why didn't we learn from George Jetson? <laughs> yo, that was my state of the art shit. Uh, you know, I'm so old, yo, that when I see, when I remember when thinking about George Jetson, my mindset was like, that will never fucking happen. And my son has a phone with a goddamn video video camera right because we don't believe the shit is going to happen